Keith, your top three favorite feuds, WWE, AEW, doesn't matter. Give me number one. Give me number three. What are we going to start with? Here we go. I'm so basic. I'm going to keep my my number one. Everybody probably already realizes what it is because it spans across multiple yeah. promotions. But uh, I'm going to start with Triple H and Mick Foley. Uh, Foley was always going to be on this list somewhere. He's my favorite wrestler of all time. And just the stuff he did with Triple H just from when he was – First getting like mankind wearing the, the dirty shirt and everything yeah. and then bringing Cactus Jack back for the, for the hell in a set. Just lovely. All around yeah. beautiful. Who I love it. Everybody thinks like The Rock and Taker really helped mankind, which they did. But oh, yeah. Trips is like right up there. He I was between him and Taker yeah. and him and Trips, but I like him and Trips a lot better. I, I got yeah. to see more of that. Taker and, yeah. Taker and mankind outside of the hell in a cell. It was a lot more like earlier on when I, you know, yeah. early, earlier on. I'm going to start with my number three. It is Shinsuke Nakamura and Samoa Joe. It was short-lived. They did battle, and they did have a, a good um, amount of time to uh, feud together. I was there live when uh, Shinsuke beat him, Samoa Joe, right. in Brooklyn. I think it was Brooklyn 2. It was the first time we saw uh, Shinsuke and the uh, the violinist, and it was just, I don't know, the place erupted, and uh, just, just a classic – NXT feud, um, nothing really special. Didn't uh, blow, you know, my socks off. It was just, you know, a good feud. Oh yeah. What do you got, brother? Brutal Let's stuff. hear it. Um, I'm, I'll go with my NXT one right now too. Um, <clears throat> Champa Gargano. Um, it got a little tired by the end of it before yeah. they like kind of got back together and started doing other thing and got called up together and everything. It was getting a little bit tired, um, but. I mean, from the from the original turn when he th- when Champa threw Gargano into the into the stage to, uh, you know, I don't know if part of it's just because of like Takeover Philly, where like yeah. Gargano Gargano Almas was the the main event at Takeover Philly, and Gargano left last, and I saw Champa come out with the crutch and just smack the crap out of him. Amazing, their whole feud's been it was awesome. It got a little tired yeah. at the end. I'm glad where they are now. I can't wait for them to start yeah. running it back, honestly, on the main roster, so more people can see it. Yeah. It usually does, too, at the end. I'm going to go with my number two. This is a tough one. This could be my number one, but I'm going to go number two here. JBL and Eddie Guerrero. Just a classic feud. And that was the SmackDown that I watched religiously. I don't know if it was UPN or CW at the time, but that's the time that I really was just, you know, enamored. I watched it every Friday or every Thursday night. And just, you know, you can picture it. Eddie oh, yeah. getting hit with the with the chair, the bloody match. I mean, there was just so many different matches, so many feuds, so many, you know, different stories that they told. And um, they were ass kickers, man. They were ass kickers. Crazy. Number one, number two, it could be one A, one B. Keith, give me your uh, one or two. What do My we got? number one. Anybody who's watched anything that we talk about ever knows the answer to this one already. Yeah. It's KO and Sami Zayn. Only, only slightly similar to Kevin Steen versus El Generico. Um, yeah. I've said it a million times. I could watch these two fight anywhere and everywhere all the time. There's a small part of me that hopes that that's how both of them get on the Mania card is they just decide to fight each other in Philly this year. Um, I would lose my mind if that was a match I got to yeah. see on night two. But um, yeah, I love it. Every match they've ever had together, I've loved it. So yeah. they're my number one feud of all time. Yeah, I love Hands it. Down. I mean, it's just, it's, you know, stays <laughs> the best of time. NXT... Oh, yeah. Indies, yep. Raw, SmackDown, uh, every other year. It's just even the even the even yeah. what was it? War Games uh, last year when Sandy was in the Bloodline and KO. Oh yeah, kicked him in the balls for it. Like yeah, uh, just the story. Yeah, Ma Fangu. Keith, my number yeah, one. You, you probably know it. Keith, I'm sorry. I love you. HBK, Ric Flair, um, just something special. I mean, if that's how HBK or uh, Ric Flair ended his career, I think it would have been, you know, one of the best feuds in the game. But what happened afterwards, I don't know. But for me, that didn't dirty the water. I just, I loved it. I loved the the old yeller. I loved that HBK carried him at WrestleMania and made made, uh, Ric Flair look good. I just... The reality base, I always talk about that when that's oh, yeah. inserted into a storyline. I mean, it's 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 game over. I love it. That is definitely my number one. Um, 
even at the end, you know, when he's yeah. on his knees, like it's just picture perfect. It uh, is the, it everything, is, yeah, everything about it. it he should have yep. ended his career there. Nothing against yep. Flair, and uh, but like anything he did, I can't think of anything he did after that where I'm just like, oh man, I'm glad he came back and did that. Like, no, yeah. that was it. You should have just did it there. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful.